Well, I'd see Dwight on a Sunday night, and it would be Super Bowl Sunday. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know it. Soon. And all of a sudden, I said, well, tonight is Super Bowl Sunday. Well, and we still have a decent crowd. Some people might be there. Oh, well, that's probably why so-and-so or this or that. You know, we got a, a smaller crowd. But he likes football, so he just takes it on at home, but he still comes to church. He's been coming to church on a Sunday night for years. Even on Super Bowl Sunday, he's at church. Amen. And I didn't know it was Super Bowl Sunday until somebody said something. Because football doesn't have me. That's right. That's right. Oh, I know it, Lord. Oh, wow. You won't stall me what I'm about to say, will you? You know, there are some churches that will, will not preach, that don't even preach on Sunday night. They open up their sanctuary to watch the Super Bowl. That's right. Yes, it is. Don't shut me down. Amen. Are you here? They don't have Sunday night service, but they say, hey, everyone, y'all come to church on Sunday night and let's watch it on the big screen. Right. Abomination to God. A spit in his face. We won't come to hear the word, but we have come to watch Super Bowl. And I need the blessings of God this week. God, the Spirit of God is green. That very acts is that. That they pollute my sanctuary. They defile it with worldly things. When they should be in my sanctuary worshiping me and offering their flesh to me as a sacrifice. But yet worldly things have them and consume them. That's why God said he doesn't, he doesn't want your garment spotted. He wants you to walk with him in white. 